you watching about that TV and we're joined right now with the legendary Jaja Souls. Hey, what's oh, good, man. brother? You right here? Yeah, you know, I just want to say that you're a, a huge inspiration to a lot of brothers out here that are Respect. doing our thing, yeah, you know what I mean? Respect, uh, to a lot of the youth that we're going to have watching yeah. this, a lot of people in Birmingham, London, all yeah. over the, you know, all over. So Respect. we're definitely happy to have you here. You yeah. know, it's a positive event and you've come down and you show support and love. Yeah. But, you know, we want to talk a bit about the last message. Mm. You know, you've just recently released this new album, so we want to get a bit of an insight about it and get, let people know about it. Yeah. Well, the last message, that's what like, um, everyone always says, why, why is it called the last yeah, message? Well, I'm saying, well, you know what it is? That's, I've, I've, come, I've come to a period, of, a period in my life where it's like, I'm going to the next chapter now. Okay. Yeah, so the, the last message album is like, it's my last album, my last musical album. I've been going into like making films and documentaries and traveling the world, um, Africa, Brazil, Cuba, and just doing music projects as well, but more behind the scenes and just putting stuff together and actually building a scene, creating a new scene and a new kind of direction, especially for the young people, so they got yeah. a platform. Yeah, so that's what the, that's the, that's the, that's the after effects of the last message. But the, the actual album is kind of like, it's like, I kind of focus more on like the social issues that everyone's, no one's talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what the last message is focused on. I focused on everything that I said, you know what? What is everyone scared to talk about? And I, I picked out all the topics and I said, okay, I'm going to speak about them. Okay. That's well, that's real because I think what we find with a lot of music nowadays, especially from, from the UK, people have, have pigeonholed themselves into making a specific type of sound and everything is pretty much the same. People are shying away from talking about mm. certain issues. When we think hip hop music, hip hop music was accepted where people were talking yes. about social, political exactly. issues and stuff like exactly. that. So. Uh, that was one of the questions I did want to ask because a lot of people were like preempting that this is going to be your last album mm -hmm. because it's called the last yeah. message and you pretty much answered that question. But uh, I want to know a bit more about the the creative process behind it. I know obviously you said you wanted to touch on certain issues, but in terms of did you have a plan to say you know I'm going to get these features, that features, and you know just a bit of just let us know a bit of the flavour yeah. that's going with, on. And with, with the features, the features was a thing where I wrote that I wrote a lot of songs mm -hmm. and then. I, I kind of said, well, who, who can I see on this song? That's what, that's what it was. It was that like random, I didn't even plan it at the beginning. Just as I'm going along writing, yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, who, don't want this, who can I have a picture on this topic? I said, okay, so I, thought, I got one called Hip Hop and Me, and that's got Rodney P, a Carla, okay. Swiss, and myself on it. So when I was doing it, and I was writing about um, the art form of hip hop, what does it mean to that artist? And then I thought, who could explain that in a good way? And I thought, Rodney P, Carla, and Swiss. Yeah. So that's that's what, that's how my, my album was, but it's not really. I'm not really. It wasn't a, a thing where I wanted lots of clubs on there. It was, it was a thing where I was wanted to, my my word to be strong and yeah. wanted people to understand. I say not just about my life, but about the social issues that they're gonna probably go through and they're gonna probably come across in their life. So that's what I just wanted to make more. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's real because especially when we look at you as an artist, we've seen a huge musical shift and a transition from a lot of your earlier mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, you've always spoke about yeah. certain political issues mm -hmm. and stuff, but especially with a lot of the more recent material where it's been predominantly a cappella based, mm. we've been able to hear your voice a yeah, lot more. And exactly. you know, it's, it's been good because we've seen uh, a huge, uh, uh, well, a huge, uh, a better mm. like focus on the yeah. stuff that you're doing. So uh, I think that's definitely a strong thing. And uh, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, you know, being a man of faith and stuff, do you find that it's been like a help or a hindrance in some respect to when it comes to making music? Because you know, a lot of people say, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, this, that, that. And, and that's what I think, yeah, you know what is, I think that's kind of a lot of our, especially in the black community, that's a lot of our hold down because we, we buy into a lot of other people's cultures, yeah. their religions, instead of kind of focusing on what, where we are from, what we're, what we're supposed to be doing. We're, we're too busy focusing on other people. We focus on other people's music, fashion, mm -hmm. everything, but it's all outwards instead of inwards. What's internal to us, yeah. So yeah, we don't, we don't focus on what's internal. We just, it's, everything's outwards, I say. So with that, I don't really, I don't really, I'm one of the people that's I've always been kind of, you know what, I don't care what you think. I'm, this is what, there's a problem out here and I'm gonna speak about it. And if you, if you don't like it, then tough luck. And so faith with me, it's like a, it's, um, Religion, I always say to people, you know, religion is kind of for your personal issues, like that's your own personal issues. Whether some people, like myself, I use a lot of um, religion for my self-discipline, I had no discipline, I was on the streets, and yeah. I was just raw, and so I use, I use religion for myself as a discipline factor, yeah. kind of help me calm myself down and focus. That's what I use religion for. Other people might help it, some people might be drunkards or alcoholics or 
the, uh, d drug heads or just that have problems in their own life, and that's why it can help and them. That's too. why it helps them. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I, yeah. I, I say, you know what, flick, if, inflict it. If it's in, for that purpose, go ahead and that's use it for that, but don't make it like rule your whole life. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's saying sometimes people get a bit carried away. Yeah, no, it's real because mm. I mean, I say a lot of the, the same stuff to people all the time, you know what I mean? And it, it, it's, it's great that you've said exactly the same thing, you know what I mean? Because it reinforces what a lot of other people have a certain affliction with mm. because some people are of a certain faith yeah. and they, they have a passion, you know mm. what I mean? They But then they're getting told, oh, well, you yeah. can't do this, so you shouldn't exactly. do that. And, you know, you, you've definitely cleared that up. And, you know, that's something for people to listen to and, and pay attention. So, I mean, I know you've, you've said a bit about the upcoming projects that you want to expand a lot more into production with the films and documentaries and stuff like that. Do you have anything already cooking up in the pipeline yeah. that you can speak about? I've got, well, there's one, there's one, there's, one um, there's, a, there's a big documentary I'm kind of focusing on. I don't want to say too much about it, but it's, yeah. it's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go to a lot of the um, slums around the world and speak to a lot of the young people. And mm. just, just, because you know what it is, there's a lot of, People seem to think that even though a lot of people are struggling around the world, that they're, they're stupid, they've got no intelligence. But when you go to places, a lot of people are even probably smarter than college kids here. Yeah, yeah, it's That's true. what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm doing that. I'm focused on a lot of those things. So, you know, it's so youths over here can see that, you know what, they're youths over there and they are even making progress. And a lot of people think that, you know what, like Africa or Brazil or Jamaica, that it's just poverty. But when actually the people actually making progress, a lot of progress, they're, mm. they're building and they're moving forward. So I'm kind of saying, you know, I need to document this so people can see this because people are not seeing it. Mm. They just think it's just poverty, guns and drugs when, no, actually people have, have got shops and they're, they're moving forward. Mm, definitely. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm kind of showing. I want to show footage like that. So I've got something in place where I'm going to be traveling to Brazil, Cuba, Jamaica and Africa to do a documentary. So that's okay. the next well, project. We'll definitely be looking forward to seeing that and the rest of the future developments as they keep rolling yeah. them out. And, you know, one thing I love about yourself is a. Uh, you know, not just as an artist, but you've shown that you can do so many different things. I mean, I've got to salute you because I've always been a reader yeah, myself. But, yeah. You know, you wrote a book, you yeah. put a book out. And what I actually saw even in my own local community is a lot of people who generally wouldn't pick up a book yes. before it made them pick up yes. books. I was seeing people and they was reading yeah. books and it was like, you know, it yeah. was, and that's definitely something exactly. highly commendable. I mean, do you have definitely. any more books? Or yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the course of writing my, um, my own um, autobiography okay. right now. I'm saying so I'll be writing it. I've been jotting it down for a couple of years, so I'm still, it probably won't be out for another two, three years. But it's definitely one, and that's going to be, that's, that's my whole purpose of me, even writing or getting involved in writing and books and that, because that's what I always felt like, you know what, the, the, the young people, there's nothing for them to relate to. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. When, when it's someone, when it's on their own doorstep, that they can relate to and they know, well, my man's just like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is, I'm saying. That's, that's what I've always kept here. I've never been one of those people that, you know what, I'm too big for everybody. I always stay down to earth. Yeah, I'm still yeah. always down to earth. I'm saying so, that mm -hmm. bottom level, I kept myself on bottom level all the time so that people can relate. And that's what we need because obviously, if, if I can get a youth that's never read before to read my book, after he reads that book, he's going to say, you know what, let me try the next one. Another book. And then yeah. he's going to say, well, let me try the next one again. And then he's gonna, that's, that's, his, that's a process yeah. slowly building up of him even reading it. And, Open up his mind, mind, yeah. mind, yeah. Because I think what we got to look at is obviously a lot of a lot of the books and stuff that I put out the content. It's not something that's going to be relative to a lot of the youth exactly. in our community, exactly. in our society. So exactly. it's kind of been written that way, and it's been put out there yeah, that way. So when we see stuff from authors like mm. yourself, it reaches a certain demographic, exactly. and as you said, it causes a, a change where exactly. people will go on to read other books from then. So like I said, it's, that's definitely yeah. a brilliant thing. So, you know, I know you do a lot of youth projects, I know you do a lot of stuff for the community, and, you know, we'd like to give a message to our viewers, to the youth watching, you know. You know, I say to all the youths out there, I always just say, you know, um, just be the best you can, and do not, a lot of, I think everyone, a lot of the youths out there think that you have to follow suit with society. Don't, you don't have to follow no one. Do what you want to do, and be the best at it. If you, you don't, not everyone has to be a rapper, not everyone has to be an actor, not yeah. everyone has to be these, these typical things that the media push in your face. You can you can be a successful radiator fixer or electrician yeah, or yeah. plumber and be a millionaire of that way. There's a lot of saying you still can be successful of normal things. Nothing, and yeah. this is what I told a lot of you, be the best you can. Grab grab onto something and do it to the fullest. It's, it's, and I always told I've got a motto I always say it's progress then party. I'm saying That's it's real. progress then party. Not party, party, party. Mm. You progress first, then you party. 
I'm saying this is my motto. I've had a lot of people, especially young youth, who think that it's just, it's just, just yellow or you just live live only once and all this yeah, madness. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, and yeah, you yeah. just live the day right, like you can do what you want, smoke your weed all day and yeah, yeah. forget all that. I'm saying progress, get your mind on something, progress, then you party afterwards. That's my motto. Well, definitely you get that progress, then party, and you know just to touch on what you're saying, we've got a motto down here which we say set pace. And that ties exactly. into with what you're exactly. saying. Anything you want to do, apply yourself. Exactly. You know, set pace and do that. You know what I mean? And it's it's real like that. Uh, what we'll do, I think we should, we're gonna close it up with yeah. some word association. So I'm just gonna throw a couple of words out there. First thing that springs to your mind, you say, and you okay. know, nothing too crazy. You know, I ain't gonna throw nothing okay. ra too random out there. So, so yeah. you say a word to me, and I say what? Whatever. I first okay. thing that comes to your head. <laughs> you know, first thing that comes to your head. Yeah. So, uh, Let's say, we'll, we'll go light first, we'll say Birmingham. Bro, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. Yeah, Cypher. Cypher. Hip hop. Real. Dragon. Dragon. Or well, Dragon, you know. Um, DMX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big. Puffer. Music. Music is life. Yeah, like, like, music is life. Yeah. Music is life. Yeah. You heard it. Jazz of Souls, the last message in stores. Make sure you go out, check that out, cop it. You know, support a lot of the stuff that this brother's doing. Where can everybody find you at? Um, you can catch most of all the stuff on www.pdcent.com um, on Twitter at Jaja PDC.